first and foremost, those of us at Grace Med believe that access to health care should be a right and not a privilege. And that's what we work toward every day to make sure everyone has access to quality health care. Well, in the 12 years that I've uh, had the privilege of being the CEO at Grace Med, we've started from a very fledgling organization that almost closed its doors way back in 2004 to one that's the largest uh, provider of primary care services in South Central Kansas. Uh, last year, we provided care for over 36,000 unduplicated patients, which is about 10% of the population of Wichita itself. And so that in itself has been exciting to see how God has allowed us to grow. He's brought great doctors, dentists, uh, managers, support people to this ministry. And also he's given us the financial resources that we've been able to expand our footprint in the community so that we now have clinics in almost every quadrant of the city of Wichita. Well, Grace Med provides quality primary care, dental care, and vision services for people that are primarily uninsured or underinsured in the greater South Central Kansas area. Uh, the significance is the fact that as a Christ-centered ministry of the church, we use a platform of health care to not only provide great physical care, but great spiritual care as well. Uh, in our society, particularly those of us who have private insurance, you go to a different office for medical care. You go to another office for dental care. If you need behavioral health counseling, you go to another office. Um, so we have segmented our society to where we're not addressing the needs of the whole person. And then I think the thing that has sustained Grace Med through these years and will continue to sustain us in the future is our wholehearted commitment to the Lord that He has called us to this work. And if we don't touch the spiritual aspect of a person's life, then we're missing the boat. So what value would Grace Med have in this community if all we did was touch the physical body of people that came through our doors. If we don't address the spiritual needs, then we have missed our ultimate objective that God has called us to, which is to witness and evangelize for Him and share with people that they can have hope by establishing a relationship with Jesus Christ.